So here we are, we're on Mob of the Dead, and I am doing the Mob of the Dead gondola challenge. Now, this challenge, I need to... Oh yeah, I forgot to shock the double points. I have until the end of round eight to get whatever I can get to survive, and then I gotta go get on the gondola and stay on the gondola for the rest of the game and see how long I can last. I'm gonna open the first door. And I'm gonna try to do a bunch of afterlife stuff. I think I can get the Hell's Retriever before round eight. I don't know about Pack a Punch though. I've seen this before. Yeah, it's part if of I can get the Hell's Retriever before round eight, I can get the Blunder Gat before round eight, and I could also get the Acid Gat. I'm gonna feed some of these zombies to this dog, and then I'm gonna save one. On this part of the video, I fed two of the three last zombies to the Hellhound and then I went into afterlife. I then opened the double points in the spawn room. I turned on electric cherry. I turned on the gondola. I opened the door to the laundry room. I opened the double points by the laundry room and then I revived myself. After that, I bought the M14. I talked about how the warden's key is down by his office. And then I finally fed the last zombie to the Hellhound. Keep killing freaks. Something's definitely gonna happen. I'm pretty sure it's six zombies per dog, so that's three, yeah. Oh, I did not want that at all. There's the end of that round. That was a wasted round. Wow, I could restart, but I don't want to. I don't feel like it. Right here, I opened this door, and then I got a few kills with this double points. Let's get all this stuff over here. Oh. All right, I think that's it. That's all I could really turn on that I want to turn on. Oh, this may be useful. Oh, you wandered into the wrong neighborhood. Honestly, I'm just trying to get over to the laundry. I forgot to grab the warden's key. Bruh, I gotta go all the way around. That would be useful later, but not now. After I got the warden's key, I went and I opened up the laundry with the key, and then I went into afterlife and I turned on the laundry machine. Oh, luckily they're slow right now. Makes it easy to get around them. Gotta watch out, cause some of them will be on the stairs. Yep. Okay, open up this door. Double Grab dope points. points. Uh, looks like it's time to double down. Hopefully I don't get a nuke. Uh, I'll see the eye next Reload. Time. Oh my god, that was scary. Come on, let's just do headshots. Let's go grab the other double points. So yeah, I went and I got the double points out of spawn, and then I pretty much got a crap ton of points using all my pistol ammo. I even got another double points as I was killing them. I don't know if that's the last one or not. I tried to make sure I didn't shoot that one. I got 9,000 points. Let's go. I'm opening this door because we're going to feed this dog over here. And I think I'm going to use this door instead of that door over there for the gondola because it's cheaper. I'm not turning the music you strike on, sadly, because it's copyrighted. That's a control valve's taken care of. I don't know if we're gonna get pack a punch, but I will pick up the parts for it. There's an acid gap sure part. This is important, Weasel. Blunder gap upgrade Some kit. Kind of machine. I really need another gun to help me fight these zombies and get this last dog fed. I can this either get the Tommy gun minute, or the Uzi. I think I'm gonna go for the Uzi because the Uzi's reliable and it's cheaper. Yeah, I'm grabbing it right now. This will do me just fine. I thought it was cheaper, but it's 1,500. Right here, I picked up this shield part. I opened this door. I picked up another shield part. I went into afterlife. I shocked all of these power boxes for the engine part. I did the numbers for the rigging part, and then I revived myself. Let's go grab that part. 
what I tell you. Here's the rigging. Actually, no, let's just stay down here. I was gonna go go to the roof and get another part, but or I was gonna go to the gel and get another part, but I don't need to right now. Let's just stay down here. We need to open this door. Thousand five hundred. Come on, one more zombie. Now let's start trying to feed them a little bit. One. Think about it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. That should be the last one. Yep. Last shield part. Yeah, we can go and grab that part, but I'm not doing it yet because there's too many zombies right here. We're gonna go build the shield and we're gonna come back for Jug and that part that's down there. But we're gonna go to the roof and we're gonna feed that next dog head. On this part, I went and I picked up the engine part. I tossed my nades into the pit for some extra points. And then I actually started building barriers to get as much points as I possibly could. Extra points, boys. That's all we can get from barriers this round. Okay, so mystery box is in cafeteria. I don't know if I'm gonna use it at all, but now we know where it's at. Right here, I picked up my shield I fed this hellhound four zombies, which ended the round. I then went into afterlife, turned on Deathshot Dacry, and opened up the roof. Okay. We're gonna get the Hell's Retriever this round. There's that head. Bruh. I did not think there would be all, like, right there. I don't know why I ran to the roof, but I always have a habit of running straight towards it. Like I think there's something up there that I need to do whenever there isn't. Okay, I need to do this so I don't die. Okay, I'm out of here. I really didn't want to have to do that because that's a waste of points, but uh, I have no afterlife, so if I got cornered right there, it would have been ripped. Yeah, grab the Hell's Retriever. I do this for my own amusement. We'll go ahead and get the skulls that are down here too. Okay, let's go ahead and get this skull. That's the first Over one here. for the free one to get. There's that one. Last more than one on, turn this on and turn on the other thing down there. There's Jug. There's this part. This can't be prison water. It's not even yellow. Let's go grab that part and let's get out of here. I could use this for points. Might as well. Right, we've got the oxygen tanks. So what's left? Okay, let's go. That's a nice treat right there. Okay, let's get out of here. My shield's broke. I'm just trying to get some points. All right, we got this round and next round, and then the on round eight, we gotta make sure we're on the gondola before we end the round. We haven't even turned on double tap. On this part of the video, I got the skull from the transformer, I got the skull from the toilet, I got the skull from the roof, and then I went and picked up my free blunder gat. Now let's go turn it into the acid get. We've got to go all the way around because I'm not, I'm not opening this 2000 point door, bro. Hell no. I can choose to go pack a punch or save up for perks. Right here, I picked up my acid get. I got a new shield. I picked up the laundry part and I built the plane. Yeah, let's go get double tap. There's also another double points that I haven't used that I could use for more money. Chance to make 
some real dough. Let's go, more points. Another dough points. Let's go. I'm gonna wait until these zombies are out of the way. And then I'm gonna go pick this up. Ten K, let's go. I hope I didn't shoot that zombie or the round's gonna end. Okay, there's two left, let's go. On this part, I turned on double tap and I bought it. I threw my nades into the pit. I built barriers until they stopped giving me points and I bought electric cherry. It's either we pack a punch this or the acid gat. The acid gat, it's it is stronger whenever you pack a punch it, but I wouldn't say it's like something that is totally needed. I don't know. It's a really hard decision. We gotta get back here next round and we gotta be on the gondola before we end the round. I think I will pack a punch the Uzi. Something's coming. Something big. Screw it, I'm pack a punch in the Uzi. I in the round. Get that nuke. And let's just actually get back. I was gonna stay there and try to pack a punch. Maybe we can go back with the ga gas cans. I could pack a punch of this if I have enough money by the end of the round. Actually, no, because the gas cans don't spawn until the next round. So I gotta just stick with what I got. I can get claymores. After I bought my claymores, I pretty much just kept on killing zombies until there was one left. I also got a max ammo during this, and after that, I got a new shield. So yeah, if I stayed on the bridge, I still wouldn't even have enough money to pack a punch, so it's okay that I came back. I'll tell you what, I'll hit the mystery box and see if I get extremely lucky and get something like the ray gun mark too. But if I don't get that, then I'm not picking it up, because I, I have a pack a punch freaking Uzi. Ray gun. I don't want to pick it up because I feel like I'm going to down myself with it, that's why. It's a tease, but no. You're not getting me with that. And hell no, not a rocket launcher. Right here, I made sure that I got a perfectly new shield, and then I went and I got in my spot. Here we go, boys. This is the gondola. See how long we can survive on this. Wait, wait, wait. Say goodnight, bitch. I wasn't thinking right there. For some reason, my brain was thinking, let him break the shield again. Here we go. I'm not allowed to walk off the gondola, all right? I have to stay on it. I can go down there if I want to, or I can come back up. That'll do it. I can grab power-ups like that hey say so for me all right let's go we got quick in an explosion we did it in a fire oh my god and i gotta get used to not getting off too so don't accidentally walk off this thing and i like how it groups powers like that too Oh, there's a warden. Oh my god, that was scary. He just spawns right there. I probably should use the Uzi on him. And I'm pretty sure the warden will get stronger. I'm trying to set my clamors up where they don't go off until they're like in here with me. I could also pocket them and if I ever get surrounded, just place one. Eventually they'll stop working though. Eventually they'll just be f trash. So if I run out of ammo, I'm pretty much screwed. <gasps> Give me that. No. No. Hold up. If I throw it directly at it, will it work? Nope. Damn. Okay. Let's not die. It's round 11. This is pretty much the same uh, thing as the transit bus challenge and the... Uh, or just tank challenge video that I did. It's just that I'm on mob and I'm doing the gondola. Same rules that everything applies. Round eight. And I have to see how long I can survive. 
Okay, yeah, stop killing them down there because they're dropping power ups down there. Once they get like as close as that one or a little bit farther away than that, I can kill them, alright? Already almost out of ammo. That max ammo would have been amazing, but nope. Oh, I just realized that. Like, if I want to use the gondola, I gotta move up here because the claim wars. This almost makes it too easy. Talk to the knight. I want to know if it even goes off. My claim wars even gonna go off? They don't feel like it. Trying to save ammo, that's why I'm knifing right now. Boom. I can use them as a supply though. Hmm, that's a smart idea. Wait, doesn't that afterlife sound that I just heard, isn't that the same one you hear whenever you can do the Hell's Redeemer? Does that mean I can do it now? Running out of ammo. Bad. Yeah, we are. Uh, is there anything left after that? You died quick in an explosion. Wish it had been a fire. Let's go, max ammo. Reload. I like okay. a little bit of mass slaughter. Round fourteen. Oh no way. Oh, shit. Use this. No. I think the best way that I wouldn't actually been able to kill him is if I, uh... Okay, shoot this. I'm dead. Bro, get off of me, zombies. Okay, I gotta use the gondola. Oh my gosh, bro. There goes all my afterlifes. Revive myself and get ready for Brutus. I have no perks anymore. GG, this is the end of the challenge, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I guess he's gone. He's not coming back, it doesn't seem like. That'll do it. Come on. The longer I can save this, the better. I needed to spam my blunder gat. Gotta go now. I knew he was coming. I heard him. Where the f is he at? Where the heck did Brutus go? Oh my god. That's literally it, bro. That challenge is not easy at all. I feel like maybe you could pull your shield out to save you, but it, even then, like, it's gonna get to the point where your shield's just gone, or it, your shield's not gonna even, like, kill them when you hit them with your shield.